All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. 2024 has started off pretty interesting with what Jeremy, Jeremy Corbell released as going to be this, what he's calling the jellyfish UAP, which we have no idea what this is. There's a lot of analysis behind that. To the recent incident that happened in Florida a couple of weeks ago, still don't have a lot of evidence on it of what actually transpired. Um, it could be a number of things, but there's still some investigation on my end going into that. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys a couple of video clips and more photos than anything else of UFOs um, of the past. But this year, I'm going to be tackling a lot of stuff from stuff with Ed Walters and what he experienced, even to Bob Lazar and getting some lost interviews and kind of answer some questions you guys have about Bob Lazar. So that'll come within the next several weeks. And then we'll be looking at a couple of things from William Tompkins, where he talked about what people saw on the moon and some of the aliens and stuff and then we'll get into a lot of other things this year as well i want to really break down uh some of these whistleblowers from the past up until the present just to hear some of their testimonies and show that to you guys so that you guys can hear what's going on i did recently um talk about other particular people in the past what they saw on the moon but i have a lot more coming um especially mark mccandless here and his claims of what he calls as the ARV or the alien reproduction vehicle. So I will be really breaking that down and also comparing it to the sports model that Bob Lazar said that he worked on at Area 51. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's get into some of these, uh, what I want to consider you guys haven't seen a lot of, you've probably seen some of them, of some of these video clips and photos of UFOs from the past. And then some of them are going to be not so much present day because as this is 2024, but I just wanted to kind of show some of this to you guys just to get some of your feedback on them because a lot of people ask me about a lot of photo videos, um, photos, a lot of footage and stuff that I have, which I have a large archive of a lot of stuff. It's just taking me a little bit of time to show some of this stuff to you guys, but I definitely want to at least show you guys some of the images and some of the video clips and stuff that I have to get some of your opinions on it. I don't know the exact location of everything that's in these videos so i'm not going to claim that i do know that i'm not just going to fictitiously make something up but some of these are older like from the 70s and stuff which you're seeing here and you're going to see some actually pretty odd shape was and stuff as well and we'll get into that at some point in time and then some are actually going to be pretty old so with that these are some of the photos that i've seen i do have some pretty old ones too don't know how legit some of these are but these are apparently some Nazi created UFOs that they actually were experimenting on back in the day. And I do more believe, in my opinion, a lot more of the older photos than I do some of the ones that we have today because people can easily go in and Photoshop stuff and add stuff in. But this particular one's interesting because Bob Lazar did mention when he was at Area 51, he did see nine different shapes of UFOs and he did see one that looked kind of like a top hat. And here's going to be a very old one. If I can recall, this one was actually taken in China. And this photo is actually 100 years old. So I'll get into this photo at some point in time later this year because it'll actually be pretty interesting, the whole story behind this photo. And here's another one. Now, this could have possibly be what's considered an ARV, alien reproduction vehicle, that they were our government was experimenting on in the early 50s. Uh, maybe late 40s, which you see some of these photos right here. Like I said, I tend to more believe a lot of these older photos than I do some of the stuff that's actually coming out today because it's really easy. You can do it with your phone. I showed you guys a video that you can manipulate uh, certain backgrounds and just kind of throw something in there. Some of these people are believing it was probably a blimp or someone just happened to be lucky and catch a photo of something in the background, but this is the only photo of this. And then we have this is which William talked about. Um, he says some of the first interstellar craft were actually submarines. So I have a whole video coming up on that. And that could explain a lot of the cigar shaped uh, UFOs people saw in the past. And this, of course, is from a recent video that I put out. I just thought I'd show this to you guys again, because with those oils floating around, the nuclear power plant was actually pretty interesting. The more I zoom in, the blurry it got. But and this is going to be one from, I believe, Ed Walters. He said this uh airplane or jet actually flew in front of this ufo so when i cover him i'm actually going to talk about a lot of this stuff too i think it's pretty interesting in some of the stuff that he actually captured and then you guys know this one was pretty recent where some guys were out they were just basically they filmed a lot of aircraft you know taking off and landing and stuff and they actually happened to film this particular 
we're just, I'm just going to say UFO, UAP, flying right close. I don't know how close it was to this uh, military aircraft, but you guys see this here. There's a whole video behind that. I covered this just a little bit, but I always thought that this one was pretty interesting. So this is kind of a frame by frame, at least four shots that you guys see here of this passing right by this airplane. Pretty interesting because we've seen this particular object before. So guys, there's gonna be a lot that I'm gonna cover. I'm actually going to revisit the Roswell incident. I wanna to present to you guys several cases from there and we can just kind of decide there from that point. Uh, I will be going live on certain things too. I got a lot of old news articles and clips and stuff I wanna share with you guys and get your opinions on because I think that together we can do this. I'm not one to say, oh, this is what it is and this is the gospel truth. You guys know I'd never say that. But there's a lot of information, especially older information, I think that we need to just touch on the subjects and touch on those topics and then actually talk about it to people and just let them know kind of what's out there. I think a lot of this stuff actually needs to be revisited. So anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends. I'm really trying to get this channel growing because I'm putting a lot of effort into it and I appreciate you guys watching, but I really want to expose a lot of this stuff. So put your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.